Okay, I'm going to take you through installing PHP Link Directory. Uh, it's version 5.15 uh, that we're doing now. And what I've done, I've got this uh, FileZilla FTP client, and I took all the files from PHPLD, and I and I uploaded them to the public HTML folder of the site where I'm going to install. In this case, it's called BaseballPlexus.com. Okay, so I'm done there. And there's a couple things I need to do with the permissions, uh, and I'll be able to install it. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to go to the Include folder, and inside there is config.php.new, and I'm going to uh, change that the name of that to config.php and enter. Okay, and then I need to change the permissions to that file during the install process to 777. So and okay there's one other file I need to look at and this is the temp folder and during the install process I need to right click and file attributes once again and 777 and okay and actually what I need to do is also make sure that I recurse into subdirectories. So that way all the uh, directories are 777. Okay, done. So now uh, I'm gonna, I need to create a database. So I'm going to go into cPanel and I'm going to find the um, database wizard. And if you can't find something, you can quickly do MySQL database wizard. And I'm just, for simplicity, I'll call it database three. Next, and then I'll also call this three, and I'll give it a password. And repeat the password. And next. I'll give all the privileges to the database user and next. Okay, so now I've got a database uh, called baseball or bplexus underscore three and with the same username. So now I'm ready to go install phpld. So I'm going to go to baseballplexus.com slash install. Enter and I'm in the install process. My language is English. Next. Everything checks out here. I'm running PHP version 5 by the way with my host. Most have that now. Next. And I'm going to go localhost for the database server. The name is going to be the uh, bplexus underscore 3 and I'll copy that to the next slide as well. bplexus underscore three since I use the same user as database and I'll put my password in there and next and then this next screen is this is just for if you're doing an upgrade we also use the installer and upgrade but I click next I usually like to go ahead and put the email templates in there so things like uh, email notifications for payments are already there and I check both of those and click next now we need to create an admin user. I'll call him admin and admin. I'll give him a password. And I'll give it uh, an admin um, email address. And I'll copy that to the next slide as well. I like to put the www here. Okay, so all set. We this is the admin login and password. And next, and we are done installing. I'm going to go to the admin control panel and do a couple more things. Uh, so I'll log in with that admin I just created. And um, and log in. And just a couple of preliminary things. I've got these two warning messages up there. 
So I'm, I'm going to have to do uh, them in my uh, C panel. So I'm going to go into the um, file manager, file manager, and it really works if you do this actually in C panel versus I could have done it in FileZilla, but FileZilla uh, C panel has a, uh, an interesting thing where you can't set the file the file permissions to the strongest standard unless you so I want to include config in the public HTML folder and change the permissions and I'm going to make this 444 so this is a little more secure than for some reason FileZilla always allows and then I'm also going to go into the public HTML folder and rename the install folder I'll give it something like uh, XYZ underscore and that way that's hidden I could have also uh, deleted it would be would be an option. Okay, so now I'll go back into my PHPLD installation and I'll refresh and we've taken care of those messages. Now let's just uh, give it a give it a new um, category. We'll just call it uh, players and then uh, I won't fill in all the information. I'm just doing some quick installation stuff um, and then. I'll go into uh, themes. Maybe I'll give it a different a different uh, theme. So let's see here. Drop down, please. Simple manager. And we're gonna give it uh, a theme like um, this one. And then let's see. We probably should go into some settings here and do a couple of those things. So settings, site. And we'll call it uh, baseball plexus. And um, learn about baseball. <laughs> okay. And um, I could put my Google Analytics code here. I'll skip that step this moment. And I'll click save. So that was admin settings. Uh, and site. I'll also do the same thing. I'll put the word baseball plexus up here too. Okay. And save. And one more little boring step if we wanted to would probably be nice. Uh, I won't finish it this moment, but if I, if I go into uh, settings search engine optimization, giving it a different default message, you know, all about baseball, that some of these are the defaults if the pages themselves don't provide the the meta tags so that might be a step you might want to look at but I won't in this instant okay I'll go ahead and rebuild my category cache basically after you build you add new categories it's good to rebuild the category cache well, we've got one so far okay and then let's um let's add maybe a new link right quick and uh, just for fun I'll, I'll do a video maybe and I'll go over here to YouTube right quick. Um, and let's look up um, something like um, Atlanta Braves. Okay. And we're going to find, um, I don't know what this is, but let's, let's uh, this one looks good enough for now. And we'll grab this video right here. And um, come back over here. Put the parse URL in there. And then um, I'll say Braves and uh, Boston. I don't know what that video was. I just did it quickly. And uh, wa watch a great game. Okay. And we're all set. So we've got some content in there. Now. There was a family of quits on my block. A family we all knew. I'm talking about. All right. Done. And now. Uh, we haven't even looked at the site yet, but let's let's take a look at what we've got so far, and we'll do. It. We've got the site here, and pretty much we just have a basic template here, so there's nothing to see. Let's let's see if we can get that video showing, for example. So we're going to go into widgets, um, available widgets. Let's do something like the latest links. Uh, let's see, latest listings central sounds good enough to me right now. 
and we'll do the um, home page and save and I'll just do say the last uh, nine okay and say now I can do grid which is in a grid or a list which is a list I'll say grid okay and we'll do three by three save I've only got one so it, it's not going to show much of a grid yet but we'll go ahead and refresh that and now we've got you'll you'll see here I would have had one two three going on there um, maybe I want to share the latest categories so we'll go into um, available widgets and I'm going to do, um, maybe I'll do the most popular categories. I've only got one. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here for categories. Uh, these are the left and right, right column widgets, by the way, that I'm looking at. And uh, we have popular categories. Let's turn that on. And we'll put that one on the, on the uh, left column and save. And um, we'll share the five latest categories. Let's go take a look at what we have now. Okay, so as you can see, and that, there's just one category there. So as you can see, I'm well on my way to starting the site. I could add more content. It could be articles or videos, links. Um, one other area you might want to play with would be in the template section. Uh, theme, edit current, current template. Um, depending on which si page you're on, uh, we're looking at different views where, where the widgets would display. So let's suppose uh, I wanted to have um, just, uh, let's see, just widgets on the left, but then more space on the right side. I'll, I'll check that option for the home page. And we'll, we'll get a little more space there on the right side. Or I could switch my widgets over to the right side. Uh, or I could have two columns. So lots of options. Uh, hopefully this video shows you how to get started with an, an install of PHPLD.